back to my channel. So today's video it is going to be the monthly favorites video because April is going away and it's time for me to talk about my April favorites and so far I've been on time on target on this kind of monthly thingy which I am thankful for and I'm sorry if you can hear any necessary rhymes in the back there because my son is in the front watching television. I'm gonna break it down into skincare, makeup, tools and then the miscellaneous alright? So without further ado let's get to this video shall we? Okay so for the first item will be the skincare and I have done a review on this and it is the Beauty Sensation Organic. What it is is actually a moisturizer. I've used this like over a month plus now. And I find that this is such a nice moisturizer to be for at night because it has a lot of good oils in here. So using it in the day as I have oily skin, it just have this very shiny looking. So I don't like that because I don't want people to think like I have a disgusting oily face that I never take care of so I use this usually at night and I will use like tons of this on my face like a sleeping pack because it is so hydrating and the next day when I wake up it's gonna be like very supple kind of feeling full review is gonna be at the heart section there so you better check it out before I start blabbering on this thing too much moving on to makeup stuff right now I am going back to my all-time favorites which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour palette and I have already hit pen on most of it there is nothing bad I can talk about this this is actually in the shade medium and the darker shade in the palette I can't use it on my face so what I do use it as I usually use this as my eyebrow color and then these two shades I will contour with and then this one right here Time, if I feel like using it as a blush on that day, I would just use it on my cheekbones and for blushing. And then this banana shade, I usually use it as a brow bone highlight. And then to clean up the top part of the brows, I usually use like this. And I also use this to spot conceal. Just by using this palette, I don't use any foundation below it. And it is flawless. I'm using it right now and I love it. So, I will definitely be repurchasing this. In fact, I am going to start buying stuff for my makeup kit because I might go to Cosmoprof and study some makeup stuff. So, I need to start building my makeup kit, I feel, because who knows, I can just do freelance one day. You never know. Next item is two liquid lipsticks and I have already done a lip swatches on the full range of this. One is the mini one and the other one is the full size one and both of this is actually the holiday edition Kylie lip kit and this one was actually sent to me by GBR Elegance and I'm wearing Vixen on my lips and I usually don't really wear dark lips but this one I kind of like it or like how it looks on me. And then for Coco K, it's like the perfect nude for my lip. It just complements my skin. So I really love Coco K. And I actually put on more of Coco K in the month of April because I just like it. I just like the color because I just like it, okay? Next, moving on to the eye part. Okay, I have the Ifolar volume clubbing mascara okay i'm wearing it on my eyes right now like you can see like i don't know uh, let me just move okay you can see my eyelash they are pretty much very long and i just wear this i do not do any curling on my eyelash i just do use two coats of this to achieve this and it's very inexpensive I think it's like ten dollars nine twelve I can't remember but I got this at um, Dolce Cabana by Eva Sufi the one looks like that it's a very huge ass one so be careful not to poke your eyeballs with it it's very easy to remove as well so that is what I like about it but the only thing is it's not waterproof I believe so if you're gonna cry on that day like going out 
to watch Hindustan movie or something, <laughs> don't wear this, okay? Because that's gonna smudge your eye makeup like crazy. Next item is an eyeliner. Okay, it is the Master Smoky Eyeliner Pencil Thingy. What I like about this is that it is like a jumbo kind of of crayon thingy and it has a retractable device on there so you can just twist it without having to sharpen it. And I'm running out. This is all I have which I am really sad because I'm not sure if Singapore carries this. I got it in SC Beauty Box and I really really like this and it has a smudger and all. It's like a kajal but in a jumbo retractable pencil kind and they actually give you a smudger so you can smudge the lower lash line if you want to create like a smoky eyes. I've been using it since the day that I got it and I'm running out which is sad. Okay, I'm really sad because like I said I'm not sure if Watson or Guardian carries this but I don't see it at Watson or Guardian but probably I mislook it or something but I really really like this it is very easy to use basically for tight lining and smoking out the lower lash line I really like it moving on is gonna be makeup tools and skincare tools if we, if that makes sense but it's under the category of tools i have makeup brushes here which i really like using okay and this one here is the zoeva concealer buffer brush okay okay what i like about this is basically when i have already drawn my like when i have already concealed my eyebrows i usually take this brush and just press it in and sometimes I do slight circular motion to blend the concealer out and of course on top of here but usually it will be in the dabbing motion that's how I will you know clean up the conceal part of the eyebrows and I really really like this it's very soft it is so soft basically the next brush from zoeva as well is the lux precise shader brush it looks something like this okay and i feel like it is the perfect brush to cut your crease with because it is very flat it it cut the crease nicely so if you want to create like a cut crease this is the brush to look out for the next product is a, like a skincare tool which I have already talked about it, I've done a review and demo on it as well so it will be up over here in the card section it is the Skin Vigorate by Mary Kay if you wish to get it, you can order it from me and I'll get it for you guys it is retailing for 81 Singapore dollars and it comes with two brush head and where one brush head is good for 3 months use and then you change it up if you want to order some for yourself, for your mother, your sister, whoever, you can just let me know down in the comment section below and I will order it for you guys. But of course, it's a pre order basis, it's gonna take like some time for me to place the order. But it is very good tool to have, especially if you are put on makeup every single day. Because this thing, what it will do is it is going to deep cleanse your pores and get the makeup in your pores out. This is gonna be your best investment because it is much much more cheaper than the Clarisonic. And what I like about it, it is small, it's easy to travel with and you can get into nooks and crannies of your face easier because it is the brush is so small compared to the Clarisonic. Next item is, I just got this from, I don't know if it's gonna be like a under the makeup tools but I got this brush holder it's well it's technically it's not a brush holder i believe it's supposed to be like a pencil holder like you can see there is divider in there but i use it to put in my brushes and i'm sorry if some of the brushes are disgustingly dirty um and it's pink it's pastel pink and the design is nice so i got it and it's like what two bucks so i really like this and I just got it in the month of April. And then aside from that as well, I actually got the 
same under the same line is like this and I put all my liquid lipstick in here okay and that is how it is looking yeah and I just put it on my vanity and then you just pull out whatever that I need and I feel like it's cute that's why I got it but if ever I have to expand my liquid lipstick collection I need to get more of it if you're looking for a new makeup storage you can take a look at Daiso and find some stuff where you can make it into a storage for your vanity because it's just two dollars and you can find something in Daiso that is really cute and you like it and just buy it, okay? Moving on to miscellaneous item is I'm, I already talked about this and it will be in the card section so Carbon Coco actually sent this to me for review purposes and I guess why I like to put on dark lips now is because it looks so much whiter now compared to last time when I did not use carbon cocoa on my teeth. It kind of look yellowish. You know how dark, dark lips kind of make your yellow teeth like emphasize the color or something. But after using this, my teeth, can you just see? It is white. It is, I mean it's not that white yet but it is much better looking like now I have a bowl dark lips but it doesn't look disgusting you know it's just looking very nicely and I can smile all I want and I kind of find out the other method to wear this is just take a brush wet your brush dip it inside here and then squeeze your toothpaste on it and go ahead and brush your teeth it is much easier to remove when you gurgle everything out of your mouth there will be lesser stain on the teeth compared to just using it alone. And the final thing is Supreme Delta White, okay? It's like a whitening kind of supplement. That's why I take it. Uh, initially, I wanted to get like a glutathione injection or something, but then it is either expensive here in Singapore or you have to do it yourself, which uh, I don't know. I don't, like I don't trust doing it like the illegal way you know but i'm still considering to get the in injection we'll see how but for now i'm just trying out this supplement here and this is actually from thailand you know thailand they are quite good with whitening products and whitening supplements so i got this this one already ran out i'm on my second bottle and i feel like i am getting less pimples like usually when it's closer to that time of the month I will have like a pimple bazaar on my face but now I, I don't see pimples popping out like randomly you know so I think it will be thanks to this but we'll see in the long, long run that is it guys for this monthly favorites which is the April monthly favorites if you find this video helpful and you like what you watch just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I always post my videos twice per week and that is on Wednesday and Sunday at 10 p.m. Singapore time. Subscribe and join the join my little YouTube family and of course hit the bell button down below to stay notified whenever I post new stuff. If you have any question, please leave it down below and I will sure to get back to you guys. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Yeah.